Hey guys, Curly Susie here from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. In today's quick video, I'm going to show you like the two easiest, best holiday hairstyles. Yeah. I'm only going to show you two hairstyles, but they are my absolute favorite go-to holiday hairstyles and they are super duper easy. Anybody watching this video can do these hairstyles and they work for wavy or curly hair. Um, and then at the end of the video, I'm going to do something kind of fun and random and show you how not to style your hair and it's going to involve a lot of brushing. The second hairstyle is definitely an updo, but the first one is more like half up and half down, I guess. It is one of my go-tos and it's really easy. All you need is like a little tiny claw clip and or four or five bobby pins. Um, and then if you have a bobby pin or clip that has a little bit of something, I don't know, some bling on it or some pearls or something like that, you can use that to accent the hairstyle. I have this cute little uh, gold clip that I got from the dollar store, so I'll be using that, but this is not necessary. You could just use plain, plain bobby pins and a plain claw clip. To start this hairstyle, you are going to do an extreme side part. So what I recommend is drying your hair with your hair parted on one side and then parting it on the opposite side to add volume. I didn't do that today, but I feel like it's still gonna work well for me. Um, I should have parted my hair on this side while it was drying and then flipped it the opposite way because I have a natural part right here and I cannot avoid it. You just create a side part, which I kind of already have. Um, and make sure you take some from the back too to add volume. You take your hair all over to one side. If you are fussy about your part and it needs to be a perfectly straight line, you can use a comb. Um, I don't tend to worry too much about that. And then I have all this hair on this side and then I'm gonna take my claw clip. I'm gonna sweep this hair over to the other side and I'm going to strategically place my claw clip down at the nape of my neck but it's way over here. There's no way I can film this from behind, but just so you guys know, it's right there, like right on the other side of my hair, otherwise the style will fall out. It's gonna take a little bit of retouching in a second. So the claw clip is there, but you don't want to see the claw clip and you need to add a little bit more security. So I'm just going to add about three bobby pins and maybe place a little bit of hair over the claw clip and bobby pin that so that it doesn't peek out. Um, so that my style looks good from the front, the side, and the back. And then I'll add my little bit of sparkle to the one side. So anyway, I'm just going to take a couple bobby pins. Like, you guys can see how easy this is, right? I just feel like these are hairstyles that you don't really think of. Um, I do like this one even more when my hair is a bit longer, but it works well for any hair length. Even if you only have shoulder length hair, I still think it looks cute. Like, it's nice, it's asymmetrical. It looks like you did something, but it doesn't take forever. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm gonna make sure this side is really tight. I'm gonna add this clip. Here it is from the front. And from the curly side. The pulled back side. And I'll show you the back. The back doesn't look as good as the front, but it still looks cute. Before I get to the next hairstyle, which is my absolute favorite, I just have a couple of little tips that you might not think of yourself. Number one, I have a lot of regrowth and a lot of baby hairs. So sometimes after I fully style my hair, I will take a little bit of mousse or gel on my fingertips and I will just kind of make sure that I plaster those pieces out of the way so that my hair doesn't look fuzzy on my hairline. And then the other thing I do, and this is sort of unconventional, is that oftentimes when I style my hair, so I go through the drying process, I use mousse and I use gel and I'll end up with like little crispy ends, which I don't have today, but often like this hair will look too producty. And I will actually take a brush, I know, and I will just kind of gently brush the ends of my hair. This brush has like super soft bristles, something like this or even like maybe a wide tooth comb and just give your hair a little brush and it gives it a little bit of extra bounce and extra softness. Sometimes when I wear my hair all the way down, I will take a little brush and I will brush like literally the bottom inch of my hair and it makes my hair look really full and really healthy. The other thing I want to say right quick is just that I know I haven't been on YouTube at all. I haven't made even one video in the last two months and I would like to take some responsibility for that, but really it's not my fault. I 100% blame my kids. And speaking of my kids, I'm going to be a huge dork and show you Wilson's school picture because I just got it today. Like, look at that kid. He's the freaking cutest thing I've ever seen. Like, Hank is cute too, but Wilson is extra cute, especially in this picture. 
If anybody is wondering what my natural hair color is actually like, it's kind of like this. Would that look good on me? I don't know. I might go for it. Okay, the next hairstyle is the updo. This is my absolute favorite hairstyle now. I wear my hair like this almost every day, just like a little less formal. And I really like this hairstyle because there's a car driving by and my neighbors already think that I'm crazy. I'm out on my step with like dressy clothes on and pajama pants <laughs> in the freezing cold shooting this video because my lights are not working. So anyways, I'm going to show you two versions of this hairstyle. One I'm just going to do quickly like this and then the other one I'm going to show you what I would do if I didn't have freshly washed bouncy curly hair. Like if I had slept on my hair for a couple of days or I was in a huge rush and I didn't have a chance to restyle or uh, refresh my hair. You can still wear this hairstyle, you can still make it look good um, and it works in a pinch if you are in a rush and you just need your hair to look a little bit more put together, a little bit more formal. This is the hairstyle for you. Um, and without further ado, I'm going to rip this clip out and get started. For this one, you need two claw clips, a little small one and a slightly larger one, or you can use a scrunchie and just forget about the twist in the back altogether. But I'm going to start with two claw clips. And then when I show you the second version, I'm just going to use an elastic and it is way faster. Um, but for this one, we're going to fake a fringe. Now, I already have some fringe pieces, so I will leave them out. But if you don't, you just take the very top section of your hair like this as if you're putting your hair half up and half down. I'm trying to do this kind of fast on purpose. Um, and you're going to get some of those curls in the front of your face where your bangs would be if you had bangs. And then you can take bobby pins or a little clip and kind of secure that up there, right? Like that, bear with me, bear with me. And then you're gonna take the rest of your hair and I like to take this really tight, like super, super tight and just twist it in the back. Keep twisting, keep twisting. I'm just twisting my hair under. And then I'm gonna take this bigger claw clip if I can open it. And I'm going to put that one up nice and high. So this is like the initial stage of this hairstyle. I am going to go off camera for a second because I'm going to have to use like two or three or maybe four bobby pins to place my hair around the claw clips and kind of hide those claw clips. And also I might use one up top if I have to change the length of this stuff. But even without me going and doing that, I mean, it doesn't look great right now, but you can see how easy it is. Um, and I will place those couple of bobby pins and come back and show you the final results. Hi. I actually barely did anything. Um, I didn't even really hide the clip in the back all the way, I don't think. I only used two bobby pins um, because I don't mind my hair looking a little bit messy. I actually really like the way this looks. It doesn't look like you, you know, spent hours doing your hair, but it still looks a little bit formal and a little bit cute. Um, so this is the style from the front and really the front of the style is the most important part. So this is one of those times when I'm giving you permission to cheat on the curly girl method if you are following the curly girl method. If you go through the whole styling process um, to create this hairstyle and you have pieces in the front that are really limp or frizzy or just not working for you, um, you don't use heat on a regular basis, you're taking good care of your hair, I give you permission to use either a curling iron or a styling wand and just kind of fix up these pieces in the front. Again, my hair doesn't have to look perfect and I don't mind if my curls are falling out a little bit, but if you're going somewhere formal and you want it to look more polished, um, you can use a little bit of hairspray uh, and maybe curl some pieces in the front. But this is what this hairstyle looks like from the front and I wear my hair like this pretty much every day that my hair is not down. And this is it from the side and the other side and the back. And as promised, I'm going to show you an even easier version of this hairstyle. Um, you don't end up with a twist in the back, but everything else looks pretty much the same. It takes seconds to do, and it works really well if your curls fell out. So I don't know if you have hair like my hair type where my hair is like a wavy curly, and when I sleep on my hair, even when I refresh it, it just doesn't look as curly. Um, and sometimes I need a style to kind of hide that so that my hair looks just a little bit better. I'm going to take this all out. And this is what happens when you play around with your hair too much. Oh my God. Anyway, 
Um, so this is the easy version. So I do use a brush. Sometimes I will use some mousse or some gel. I mean, I only have to do it quickly on camera today. Sometimes I'll use some leave-in conditioner, some cream, just to give my hair a little bit of shine. I'm just gonna put some of this underneath my hair. Ooh, that smells good. Um, and I'm gonna take my brush and I'm just gonna brush the sides really tight. Oh, I hit the house, that's good. I'm just brushing the sides up really tight. I'm not touching the front, I'm gonna brush the back. putting a ponytail right on top of my head. I left some of this stuff out. Pulling the hair forward like this so it's kind of in front of your face, Sila. Oh my God. <laughs> so now you have this weird big ponytail on top of your head. Mine's massive right now. But then, oh my God, where's my forehead? There it is. Then you're gonna just take bobby pins and tuck away as much or as little hair as you want. So if you like really big wild hair, you might be done. But for me, I like to part my hair in the center of wherever my scrunchie is and kind of make a little bit of a bun. So I'm just wrapping some hair around the scrunchie and pinning it and like hiding those bobby pins. See, look, I'll take some from here. I might have to do this in the mirror too, guys, but you get the picture. Like it's different every time you do it. I can tell right here that there's some hair falling out on the side, like I didn't tuck that stuff in. So I'm going to bring that up. Might have to use my brush again. I'm actually going to have to go look for this one, like, I need a mirror. I'm not going to lie, I took the elastic out of it, or the scrunchie I should say, and I tipped my head upside down. Um, and I put a little bit more of that leave-in just kind of under my hair and I took my brush again and I brushed it really tight in the back. I did it the exact same way. I just needed to tighten it up a little bit. Um, and then I only used three bobby pins and I just wrapped the hair around the scrunchie and made this bun. I left one side out. So most of this is hair that is coming from my ponytail. I only have a few fringe pieces. But if you have a fringe, you can leave it out. If you don't have a fringe, that's the beauty of it. You can fake a fringe and you can leave two sides out like I did in the previous hairstyle or just a little bit on one side. But I love this one. And again, in this one, if your hair is completely messed up, frizzy, you slept on it, you're in a rush, I give you permission to curl a couple of these pieces with a wand. I mean, mine aren't even really that curly anymore. They're more wavy, but I still like the way that it looks. But if it wasn't turning out the way I wanted to, I absolutely would do that. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm going to show you each side. And the back. There. <laughs> As promised, before I end the video, I'm going to show you exactly how not to wear your hair. And I learned this the hard way when I was on set for the Tracy and Martina Christmas special. If you have been following me on Instagram, God love you because my Instagram is not like a curly hair Instagram. It's just my personal Instagram that I welcome you guys to follow me on and chit chat with me and everything. I would love to have you, but I'm just warning you <laughs> that it is not all about curly hair. It's a lot of posts about my kids and just funny stuff, Cape Breton related stuff. Um, and I, again, I'd love to have you. So I will, leave information about that up here and in the description box below. Um, but if you have been following me on Instagram or you know a little bit about me personally, you know that I was in a comedy Christmas special. It was shot at the Trailer Park Boys studio and it was an absolute joy to be a part of this. It is one of the most amazing things I've ever done in my entire life. And it is based on the world of Tracy and Martina. Um, I'm wearing my girls on my jacket right now. I don't know if you guys can see that. When I got to set, um, I knew somebody was going to do my makeup, but I'm just not used to other people touching and styling and brushing my hair. And they needed to make me look like kind of nuts. So my hair 
had to fit that character. And so I'm going to show you the Brandy Lynn hair. And as I style it, I'm going to tell you how you can watch the Christmas special. So first I'm gonna take my claw clip. Oh, that one's too nice. Maybe like one of these here jobbies. <laughs> and you need to have lots of height in the front. So I should probably tease my hair a little bit. Um, so yeah, so the video is going to be available this Saturday on SwearNet, like I said, which is the Trailer Park Boys network. Um, but it's coming this Saturday and the movie starts at 8.30, but Tracy and Martina are doing a Facebook Live at 7.30 before the movie and then they're going to do like a little Q&A, chit chat, Facebook Live type deal after the movie um, on the same platform and Brandy Lynn may or may not make an appearance. If you're interested in being a part of the premiere and the Facebook Live and all of that, I'm going to leave all of the information in the description box and it's going to be very, very Christmassy and very fun and very funny, but don't watch it with your kids. This has to be good for your hair, right? And you gotta make sure you pull out some of this stuff. I'm just gonna loosely take this and I'll pin this up too. And uh, I don't know, it's Christmassy, right? So she might use like this kind of fancy clip I use, but I feel like Brandy Lynn would put it like right here. I just think you guys are gonna love it. Actually, I think half of you are going to love it and think it is hilarious. And half of you are gonna be like, what the f did I just watch? Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. And I really hope this video was helpful and I hope that you actually like and that you actually try the holiday hairstyles. You can give it a thumbs up if you liked it. A big old thumbs down if you didn't like it. Subscribe to my channel. And if I don't see you on Saturday, I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.